All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goran Guitar and to Jelly Roll with the song called Dead and Road. All right, so this one comes from the Twisters movie and from the album here. So a lot of songs coming out from Jelly Roll connected to this uh, Twisters. And this is one of them that caught my ears, Dead End Road. So we have a different setup here. You hear some darker notes and that's correct. What we do here is to use a cable first off here on the first fret. And then we also have a drop C tuning, all right? So um, what you do there, uh, I don't have any tutorial on the drop tunings, uh, either C or D or anything like that. Perhaps I should consider to do that, but I always uh, guide you to look at the YouTube and other tutorials there and how to do it. I can just quickly explain to you what's going on here. So what you do is to put a capo on the first fret. All right, so that's a starting point. And then you have a standard tuning for all the five strings, E, B, G, D, and A, from the bottom and up. Standard tuning, and then you want to drop this E string to match up with the C note. That is the meaning of drop C tuning, all right? So where do you find a C note? You find it here on the third fret A string. So if you play that note, you want the E string to match up with that note, but the darker um, octave down, so to speak. So, okay, and my guitar is not the best for this, okay? You have different styles, and this is not a, like a, a hard rock guitar or anything like that, but so uh, you can do it in normal, yeah, in every guitar pretty much. So what you do is to compare the third fret A string with the E string, and you see they are the same there. What you do here, you have to turn the knob towards you, uh, usually um, pretty much almost a full turn or so. I'm not sure, you have to go and listen for it. And uh, yeah, if you cannot do it by air, you take some help from YouTube. There are many tutorials on how to um, tune down the guitars in different ways. This is the drop C tuning, all right? So uh, drop C plus cape on first, and there you will match up with this Dead End Road song. Let's do it. And we have pretty much two different parts here. We have the intro chorus play, which is played in the same way, this melody, all right? And then we have the verse play uh, slash bridge part. They are the same as well. So we're gonna look at this main theme melody, so to speak. So we're gonna work with the A and the E string, which is now a C tuning, but these last two strings. All right, so it goes like this for the first round because it has a different ending and just one single note that ends the different endings there. You're gonna go back and forth between these two endings. Okay, so the melody is pretty much the same throughout this uh, chorus intro play. It goes like this. So far the same, and then just one note that ends in different ways. So you're gonna start with two times on the open E string. I'm gonna say open E now, uh, just keep it simple. That is basically an E string, usually in standard uh, tuning here. So this is the E now, two times on open E, then third A, then back to open E, then first A, back to open E, then open A, back to open E, then three times on the fifth fret E string. Okay, and that is so far we're gonna play in the same way. Then the ending here in the first round is to play the third fret on the E string, one note like this, and that ends one round. Then you're gonna go back and play everything the same, so. three times on the fifth fret E string. And the second ending is just to add another fourth time on the fifth fret E string. And that's it, so very easy. Either you go third fret E string on the first round, and then the next round you go on the fifth fret E string, just keep it there for four times. All right, so 
two rounds of this will sound that's it okay that's how you handle the intro and the chorus play and i suggest that you play this with open you don't have to um, mute it too much all right so we're gonna use the muting now soon to the next part but here i think it's better if you just can try to ring it out so play the notes so they ring out it sounds cooler all right so that is the melody now over to verse play and we have two sorry three different grips so the first grip is like this you're gonna use the open e string the third a and the fifth d okay so you grab that one and the strumming here will be simply four downs. That's one round, so to speak. So one, two, three, four. Now I would suggest you play with it, some kind of muting if you can. I use the back side of my hand here, my strumming hand to lean it on top of the strings like this in the background. And then I'm chewing here in the front. And stay away from the higher strings of course we're gonna use the darker cooler strings for this song all right so one two three four is one round you're gonna play this grip for four rounds so one two three four one two three four okay then you go over to this grip and that's the first fret a string and third d now stay away from the e string you're just gonna play and chew on these two strings, first A and third D. You're gonna do that for two rounds, that means eight downs in total. And then the final grip is this. That's the open A and second D. And now you play it for only these two strings as well. Stay away from the E string. So you wanna play that for two string rounds as well. So eight downs. And that's it. So this grip, right? The four string around, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then this two rounds, and this two rounds. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the main melody. All right, guys, dead end roll, jelly roll from the twisters cool to know about this song hope you enjoyed it guys and if you did give me a like on this one really enjoy to do tutorials but give me some motivation to go on and i will go on and on thank you so much guys and see you next time play tune